So lately there was a controversial update where Stardews have basically broken the pathfinding and let me talk a little bit about this and I'll show you technical reasons why this happened and also what's the cost of having accurate pathfinding with teleporters. So let's uh, take a look at this robot here. If we select it and we hold control we can hover around and see the pathfinding preview. Now if I go to walking difficulty I have visualized the algorithm and it shows in blue the tiles that are evaluated for the path. So this is how the algorithm actually finds where to go. So as you can see if there's a maze uh, we have to go around the walls the algorithm has to analyze more paths but if you like go in a straight line it's uh, fairly efficient and simple so it can be pretty quick but this is the fast version of the algorithm this is the one after the update that broke teleporters now let me switch that off because i have added a setting in settings current gameplay settings there's this optimized pathfinding for teleporters which enables the old version of the algorithm which works well with teleporters. But now let's see what happens. See how uh, we have to evaluate way more tiles in all directions to go somewhere. If you want to go to the corner of the map, you basically have to evaluate the whole map. And you can see that uh, like there's, yeah, it grows in all directions. Uh, and this is on the only way to actually make use uh, of teleporters efficiently and you can see that right there in the bottom here we are uh, evaluating path around teleporter so if you want to go down there right uh, if you want to go to this room if you want to find the path through the teleporter not directly there you have to evaluate that much tiles so that's how uh, this path goes through this teleporter right there but Again, if we switch this off, optimize pathfinding, switch this off, look at this, and now you can see that if we want to go down, the pathfinding does much less evaluation, but it finds a direct path. And the reason for this is that the pathfinding does not look backwards from the goal, because you need to go from here to here, so the pathfinding tries to just zero in on the goal and walk around the obstacles. But to find the teleporter, the pathfinding actually has to go in all the directions around to, to stumble upon the teleporter and then go through it. So then you would say, why don't you just go and try all the teleporters? Well, that's not that simple. You can have a lot of them. They can be in a maze. So you would have to find paths to the teleporters. Then from the teleporters, you would have to uh, find paths from the output of the teleporter to the uh, to the goal. And it would be just be insanely complicated. So that's why there's now this option. Since everybody was complaining about uh, how teleporters uh, broke after this update, this option is enabled by default. So by default, you're getting the slow as huge inefficient algorithm which works well with teleporters. But if you, if it's a small ship, if you don't have like too many workers, too many tasks, which needs uh, evaluating the path, it will be, it will work just well. If you have a per, like great computer with lots of CPU cores, also might work pretty well for you. But if you have a lower end machine or a huge ship with lots of workers, well, lots of tasks, lots of like door permissions and things like that, then you have to if you suffer from performance issues this should help optimize pathfinding for teleporters so disable it and you will get this efficient oh wrong view. you'll get this efficient super quick super snappy algorithm that makes things much much quicker when you have a lot of workers so that yeah that's it Maybe someday I'll find a better solution, but for now, this is what we have. 